Hey guys, so I'm working on this uh, Marty McFly graffiti piece and I've actually finished cutting the stencil already and I've done my overspray onto another piece of uh, paper here to do a second cutout. That's going to be his interior colors. I'm just going to move this so you can see. So believe it or not, this is actually garbage. <laughs> I'm not really going to use this for the painting, but I am going to cut out the shape of him. Um, but first I'm just going to fill in some of the gaps that I left, um, that you have to leave so that it, the stencil itself doesn't fall apart. And then I'm going to cut his outline. Um, this is actually... When doing these paintings, this is probably one of the easier parts to deal with, um, mainly because I'm just cutting basically one big shape, uh, and this is going to be the shape that will be uh, Marty's interior color. So the orange on his on his uh, vest and his skin tones are all going to be sprayed inside of this shape once it's cut out. I'm just going to determine where I'm going to cut on the bottom here too. I actually have a ton of these left over from other projects. Um, for example, here is a Wonder Woman cutout that's left over. So I, I don't really have a use for these. I just let them sit in my studio. Um, it's a nice Nice reminder of paintings I've done in the past. Here's another one. This is uh, Star Lord cut out. Uh, again, the the original painting. Um, I, it doesn't look bad, but the original painting looks looks a lot better than the simple black and white here. And I got the cut out from the most recent painting you may have seen in my feed, the uh, Superman. But just so you know like how I'm going to be approaching this, basically the same thing for this one. I'm just going to cut this guy right out and then have a nice stencil backing to work with. So I think I'm good to start. I'm just going to start right down here. And I do want to try and follow this as closely as possible. Uh, this will make lining the stencil up that much easier if I have an outer edge that I know I can trust is going to be a guide for where the rest of the stencil needs to lay. And as I'm cutting, I'm realizing. I probably should have put a new blade on. This is taking quite a bit of force to cut through. So I'm going to be working on probably two more of these uh, after I'm done with this Marty McFly piece. Uh, one is already started, it's uh, for you Star Trek fans out there, remember Next Generation it is Data from Star Trek The Next Generation. And I have some options laid out for the next painting, but I'm not sure which one to settle on. So you guys, you can feel free to bombard me with messages <laughs> about uh, which which last graffiti piece I'll do before my uh, trip to Steel City this weekend. And for those of you who don't know, that's a Pittsburgh area Comic Con that's been going for, uh, I think this is year 27 or 26, something along those lines. Either way, it's been around for a really long time. Uh, it's a great show. It's pretty much the Comic-Con uh, that I go to the most often uh, to sell my artwork. 
partly because it's close. I'm based out of Buffalo, New York, and the other part is uh, they do it three times a year, which is pretty crazy. But it's a great crowd in Pittsburgh. Some really cool people out there. done. So this is actually me taking a break. There is another piece I'm working on right now, just waiting for it to dry before I continue. And that is a, uh, a commission piece from online. Alright, there it is. So he's completely cut out now. As you can see, um, pretty straightforward process and there's the outline that's going to be basically the background for the stencil so this will lay right over top of that and allow me to basically fill in details on Marty's image you can see how tricky it is are ready to line up but it's gonna it's basically how that works um, this is great because it allows me to, to add some colors I wouldn't be able to get with a single layer stencil um, now obviously the the bordering on the colors is kind of just up to where I end up spraying which is kind of a cool effect anyways it gives it more of a, a gritty look uh, than trying to block out a second or a third stencil and determine pretty directly where the colors are going to land. And I have my canvas prepped. This is basically the background he's going to be on top of. Um, nothing too complicated, just kind of like a, a purplish pink space time continuum background. And that's on uh, stretch canvas as always. Um, I love using these canvases mainly because you don't have to worry about uh, telling people to get a frame or anything. They can just buy the painting, put a nail on the wall, and put it right up. So that's basically it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be posting later a video of me spraying this onto this canvas directly. Uh, but until then, I will see you guys later. Oh, guys, before I go, I always forget. <laughs> Don't forget to check out my online shop. It's my card right there, NJJ Studio. Uh, you can find the link in my profile. I do custom order artwork, just like this. Mr. McFly here. Um, and yeah, yeah, check it out. Um, even if you're not able to purchase something now, you know, tell your friends. Uh, spread the word. Uh, this is what I do for a living, so I really appreciate it. All right, guys. See ya.